17 is Ryan Maxwell. Ryan Blank Sr., the inaugural champion of the series last year. He'll start fifth inside for number three, Justin Ooze. Hope I'm saying that one right. Andalusia, Alabama, starting six in the three. Third throw inside. First time here from Westfield, Florida, Charles Ellis in 39. And outside, the one-time winner from Pensacola, X. Braden Kitchen. Garrison Story starting ninth inside for number five. James O'Neill on 14, and 11, Cody Briggs. D. Davis out of Walnut Hill. She'll start 17th in the 12th. Zachary Dickerson out of Pensacola. He's in the 69. He starts 18th. And in the 10th row, no, Cody Ruffin from yeah, Cantonment in 75. And outside from Chickasaw, Jeremy Finney at 27. Is this the, another old age situation, Bill, here? 17, 76, Steve Seidner in the Cantonment.
Chanel, we were just talking about it. Good girl, seventh man. It was to start this division last year. The drivers and experience, many of them had never raced in the You just saw right there. Look at those drivers. Good covering up with that. Avoid a major crash over in turn number three. That's just great driving by everybody. When they started this division, they said, now, since it's entry level, should we keep the experienced guys out? Replay, Bill. Replay three wide. And Cody Hobbs goes around. Wow. Hey, looking out the door. And he locked it down too, Bill. You know that? Another replay on Racing America and three wide, even in the supers, seldom works. And that time, the three wide, Cody Hobbs was in the middle. I don't know. Anyway, when they started, they got a board of them. I tell you what, they're representing tonight, dude. Yep. DMR Racing is really strong. They've got three cars here tonight. Sometimes they bring us money
from Sackville Mason and look what happened. After that, it's all a great shot for Jeremy Carstow and facing the wrong way in turn two. Maybe a little learning experience right there for Adam Sultan. It's not back if you get spun out. That's just how it, how it is in racing. Okie's Bookie Mason. Ten, 
as Zero tries to come from the back of the pack in eight laps. He's had four of those eight laps and he's gotten all the way up to where that he is. Take a look here, watch. Here's the recap. Yeah, the right rear, oh, you can see it just yeah. explode. Wow. It exploded, you can see the pieces of rubber. Watch the right rear on the replay here. Spectacular on restarts. Four laps to go. Maxwell in. They're waving off the restart. The caution light has come back on. Go. Go. If Maxwell cannot figure out this restart, we'll do Over there, I don't know. Looking for I got racing. I got and injury lawyers, Victory Lane. Let's send a track sign to Bill Roth, who's waiting for our winner. Thank you, Robbie. What an exciting race. Of course, it's always an exciting race with these crowd stocks. Doug Thorpe coming up with a checkered flag again. And we'll quickly talk to each one of these drivers as they dismount their race cars. Still to come, the sportsmen for their feature race tonight. Doing a debrief with the crew is Doug Thorpe. And here he is out of the car. Crown stock winner, Doug Thorpe. Got three hometown heroes here in the top three. And Doug Thorpe is going to win his third feature of the season. Congratulations all around. You know what, Doug Thorpe? I'd say, where'd you learn to restart like that? But you've been doing this for 40 years. Man, I'll tell you, that took every ounce of experience. 
experience I got. So uh, I'd like to thank God for a good, clean race. For all, well, a good race, maybe not a clean race. But uh, I'd like to thank my sponsors too. I'd like to thank Billy Clark Bill Bonds. I'd like to thank Todd Blizzard, Coastal, Coastal, Coastal Machine. And uh, I'd like to thank David Tao, most of all, for providing this car for me to drive and making this so much fun. My crew, as always, they're the best in the business. This guy's out of the ball. Doug Thorpe wins number three this year in the 62. And he's going to get congratulations from our second place driver here, Ryan Maxwell. We've been waiting for you in Victory Lane for over a year now, and I thought maybe tonight. Yeah, we are. Uh, it's hot down here. It feels great up here. I'm sure it does. I know, it feels great for like a five-minute minute. Three of us guys up here are pretty close, and uh, I can't say enough about Yeah, this one Yeah. Okay, good. This racetrack and all these people. I know that y'all came out to see Chase and Kevin and them super late models, and we appreciate it. We'd love for y'all to come out here and watch us local guys. We put on the show, too. So we appreciate y'all coming out. Um, I lost my dad two weeks ago, and uh, he's the reason I'm here. Um, and my family's here with me. I love Thanks, Michaels and Booth. If you get in a wreck leaving here, somebody hit you, y'all call us. Ryan Maxwell, second tonight, racing in memory of his dad. We do a lot of that here at the racing family at Five Flag Speed. The other Ryan, the other 17, is third. That was a heck of a race. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. I was only going to be the top three, honestly. Uh, I probably had like a sixth place car. And what happened happened, and uh, it was like driving on dirt out there. Your car's right over there. But, uh, thanks to all the fans for sticking around for the road race. We appreciate it. Story Black Roofing Crowd Stocks, Peter Roof, about Story Black Roofing. They're the sport. We're going to get uh, attorney, call Michaels and Booth. Ryan Black calls this the real race. We love them, the crowd stocks. And we're going to wrap it up with a talk on Pensacola Beach Sportsman next.